Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Tarot Dreamer. Uh, these are my new weekly readings for the star signs and these are for our lovely fire signs. So Sagittarius, Leo and Aries. Okay guys, so if you're new here, we have three columns, one, two and three. So please choose a column and uh, I will read the cards that are in those columns for you. So I'll give you a moment to focus on the column that you're most drawn to and then we'll get into your reading. Okay, and I just want to say a quick thank you to all my new subscribers and to all my subscribers that have helped my channel to grow. We are nearly at 300 now. And uh, like I said before, once we uh, achieve 777 subscribers, I'll be launching my new intuitive love and relationship tarot readings, which will be monthly readings for all the star signs. Okay, guys, so with that being said, let's get into your reading. This is for the first week in April. And we've got, for group one, the fortune card for this week is, wow, great fortune here. That's a lovely card to start off April. So there's some kind of monetary gain to be had this month, but for the beginning of this week, let's look how it plays with the other cards. So your tarot, tarot message is the star card. So happy times, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans, and you're on the right path. This is a lovely card, the star. Um, it's literally, literally dreams and wishes coming true for you. And with the Great Fortune card, this is as if it's, um, if it's destined for you. It's literally destined. Whatever path you're on or you find yourself starting this month, it is literally destined for you. It's in the stars what's going to happen. And there is great fortune to be had with that. So let's see how your angel message plays out with this. And we have, wow, big happy changes. That is amazing. That's amazing. All these cards are chosen at random as well, guys. Uh, like I usually say. So that is absolutely, these are stunning cards. So whoever has chosen this um this column column one there is something there's a major shift coming this week the first week in april for you guys um remember though these readings are timeless so if you have clicked on this reading and it's may or june you're meant to see it it's when the stars are literally aligning for you this message will come through so there's big happy changes here it's destined for you, it's in the stars, and it's going to bring you great fortune and abundance here. So, wow, those are fantastic cards. Okay, brilliant, let's move on to group two. And for those that chose group two, your fortune card for this week is the gift. Another fantastic card here, guys, the gift. So you could be receiving a gift of some kind this week. It doesn't always have to be money. It can be the gift of someone's time. But someone is going to be offering you something in the form of a gift this week. So let's find out a little bit more. Your tarot message is the Eight of Earth, the Eight of Pentacles. Skilled work is rewarded learning all there is to know about a topic and going back to school okay so the eight of earth the eight of pentacles in the standard ride away deck is somebody who's working hard to improve themselves and with this card coming up with the gift you're going to be rewarded for that so it could be that you are learning a new career you're learning a new skill in your job or you're in fact in your own time learning something so you can either go self-employed um, set up an online business you're going to be rewarded with a gift you're going to be rewarded for something that you are studying here and learning and your angel message is the situation will improve so like I said I think with this is that you are trying to improve yourself here you're trying to improve yourself this week and that is going to be rewarded, the universe is saying. It's going to be rewarded. All your hard work is going to pay off. 
and your situation will indeed improve. Okay, and finally let's move on to group three. And our fortune card for our lovely star signs of uh, fire signs, uh, so uh, Sagittarius, Leo and Aries, your fortune card is marriage. Okay, so the marriage card here. So this could be a relationship, a strong connection that you are in with somebody. So let's see what your tarot card message is. The lover's card. Archangel Raphael. So intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions and good health. So that ties in perfectly with the marriage card here. It could be that someone is going to propose to you or you are indeed making plans to get married with somebody here. And let's choose your, see your angel message, romance. So whoever chose this column, there is, there's literally a strong connection here that is going to be coming through for you this week that is linked with love and romance. And that could indeed lead to marriage. But you could be getting into a strong connection. You could be moving in with somebody here. But there's some form of strong connection that you're going to become aware of. With the romance, the lovers. The lovers is also a choice between two people as well. Which why this says carefully weigh your decisions here. But it could also be a decision to be with somebody else okay guys well that's your reading i hope you enjoyed it and thanks for tuning into my channel and joining me for my readings i really do appreciate it i appreciate all the comments as well uh, i do see all the comments that you leave so thank you for those and um thank you for those people that have wished me well with regards to my uh, shoulder problem that i have at the moment and uh, yeah hopefully that will uh, get better soon um, but as usual, always believe in yourself, guys, follow your dreams and stay blessed.